Hello, welcome back to How to RV. I am Jason, and today I want to let you in on a little bit of information about what I've learned around my tankless water heater. So we've been out for, I don't know, about two weeks now and done two boondocking trips so far, or two full days worth of boondocking. But we've had some interesting finds about our tankless water heater. So what we found in a boondocking situation with the tankless water heater is that we're gonna use about 10 gallons of water in order to take a shower. We're also gonna use about two gallons of water to wash dishes or whatever else we need to use water for. So with that being said, we're talking about 12 gallons of water a day. Now there's a very good reason why I wanna spell out about how many gallons of water we're using per day. In this case, we're talking about 12, 12 and a half gallons. That comes to be very important, so hold on. So previously, the water heater that was in here was probably one similar to the one that you have in your RV. That's the one with the tank inside. You can use propane or electrics, kind of similar to the water heater that you have at home. One of the interesting things that we've learned is that when you have that kind of water heater, the one that we just previously said, the one with the tank where you can use propane or electric, comes in most RVs from the factory, is that you're gonna get constant hot water as long as you don't consume all the hot water outside of that reservoir. Now with a tankless water heater, it's gonna heat up the water as long as you keep the water running. So what does that mean to us? That means that we gotta keep the water running, means we use more gallons of water because we gotta keep the water hot. So if we turn off the water, then the tankless water heater quits heating and therefore we got cold water in the line right? So a funny story. I've done some tests when I first put this in to make sure everything worked. I knew that I needed to keep the water running in order to keep it hot, but I didn't remember to tell the wife on how all that works. And because of that, she went to take a shower and when she did, she turned the shower on and off like she would with the original water heater. And every time she would restart the water, she would get cold water and she would start hollering that she can't get the soap out of her hair. So I had to explain to her that the tankless water heater needs to keep the water running all the time in order for the flame to stay on to keep the water hot. So again, that's how tankless water heaters work. They need to keep flow and they need to keep pressure in order for the sensors to allow the flame to stay on to keep the water hot. So that kind of explains why we're using more water because we got to keep the flame running in order to keep the water hot. That means we use more water. With the other one, we could turn the water on and off because there's a reservoir of hot water, a tank of hot water that you can pull from. So that goes into why we have an issue with how much water that we're consuming inside of our RV. Our fresh water tank is 46 gallons and our gray tank is 38 gallons. So let's talk about the fresh water tank itself. If I have 48 gallons and I'm using 12 gallons of water a day, I only have about four days before I run out of water in the fresh water tank. But here poses the big problem. I only have 38 gallons in my gray tank. All that fresh water's gotta go somewhere, right? So I have 38 gallons in my gray tank. So 12 gallons a day, means that I'm filling up my tank in three days. So here's where I'd like to get some information from you and you can leave it down in the comments below. Should I go ahead and keep the tankless water heater and get some kind of bladder or canister that I can refill my fresh water tank and some kind of tank that I can take off of the gray tank and go dump it somewhere else? Or do you think I should go ahead and take the tankless water heater back out and put the other water heater back in? Now here's why I want you to leave some comments down below because I am torn between two different decisions I need to make here. I would really like to keep the tankless water heater in because I like my long hot showers and the ability to have just constant running hot water and not run out of any. But I like the other water heater that we had in before because we have a tank of hot water that I can pull from and I don't have to keep the water running all the time to keep it hot. Now during this trip, we have been to a couple of campgrounds that have full hookups and it is great. We have had no issues whatsoever. What we do is we take the gray tank and we pull that valve and leave it open and we can run the water all we want and it stays as hot as long as we want it to. As far as the campground goes and full hookups, easy, would love the thing. It's the boondocking problem that we're having issues with. So go down to the comments and fill it up. I wanna know what you think you would do in this situation. And as we get more experience with the tankless water heater, we'll feed back to you on how things are going. So until the next time, enjoy your hot water, enjoy your trips, and God bless.